How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. I hope you're keeping well wherever you are in the world. And in this video we have the DS3 Crossback E10. It's the La Premier version and it's automatic as well. So this is fully electric car from DS Automobiles, uh, which is part of the PSA group. And if you don't know, they also look after the likes of Vauxhall, Citroen, uh, Opel or Opel, uh, Peugeot as well. So this is part of the group. And DS Auto is like the top of the range, the luxurious brand. So any DS Auto car, you expect that level of pre uh, premium luxury when you drive one of those. And this is no different at all when you get inside the car. And even when you look at it as well, it's one of the best looking uh, electric vehicles out there. In fact, it looks very similar to the standard DS3D petrol version, uh, but what differentiates them is when you look around the car, you start noticing things like the uh, E-Tense badge that's all around the car and the uh, subtle designs here and there. There's no exhaust on there, obviously, because it's electric, so you don't see that as well. So there's subtle differences that you will see, but if you were to place them next to each other, chances are you will actually rethink that they're the same cars, uh, which is not a problem. It's not a bad thing. Uh, which I always say it's very important for me for car manufacturers to create a vehicle that just looks like their normal design DNA. But without further ado, let's look at the car in more details, tell you all about the powertrain, tell you about the speed and all that kind of stuff and charging it as well. Let's go. So as mentioned earlier, this is a La Premier version. So this is a top, top of the range, so you get everything. In fact, in terms of options, there are little things that you can buy extra to this. It's already packed and loaded with everything that you need to get the car on road. So in terms of costs, uh, this will cost you £35,990, but obviously in the UK you get the £3,500 grant uh, from the government, so that will bring the price down just a tad bit. This colour itself is a pearl crystal colour, and I quite like it, I like how it looks, it stands out even with the grey weather in London right now. It still looks really good when you look around the car as well. Some of you guys might have seen the pictures I already uploaded on my Instagram, so do check that out because it kind of shows you a different look, a static look of the design and the colors and the way it just looks very uh, uh, premium in terms of design. So the car itself has a front mounted 100 kilowatts electric motor and you've got that uh, liquid cooled 50 kilowatt battery in there. Uh, so in terms of normal petrol engine head sort of like uh, language, you're looking at 160 horsepower or 134 brake horsepower in there. You've got 260 newton meters of torque or 192 pound per foot uh, of torque. It's a one speed automatic front wheel drive and you get top speed of 93 miles per hour. That electric motor would do zero to 62 in 8.7 seconds, so just under nine seconds, which is more than enough for driving around the city. Uh, if you're like me, I think that's more than enough, especially because it's an electric car, you get that sort of surge in power. So when you put your foot down, you literally feel it uh, with no delays at all. In terms of range, you're looking at 191 to 206 miles WLTP uh, quotation from DS Automobile. But I think in the real world, you might get just a tad bit less than that. Uh, so 206 miles, you're looking at putting a car in fully eco mode. But if you're driving in like normal, uh, you might get 191, maybe less. But if you're definitely putting in sports, you're looking to get way less than that for sure. In terms of charging it, you get 100 kilowatts rapid charge. So 0 0.5 hours of charge will get you up to 80% in no time. You've also got two, it also supports 7.2 kilowatts charger at home. Uh, so 7.5 hours of charge will get you to 100% uh, in no time. So again, it means if you charge it overnight, you can wake up to a full battery. Looking around the car as well, you get that 18 inch alloy, which looks really nice. You've got matrix LED uh, headlights with daytime running lights as well. Uh, in terms of running the car itself, uh, driving around, it drives really well, although it can feel kind of heavy. It's heavier than the petrol version. So especially when turning corners at higher speeds, you will feel how heavier it is on road. But other than that, it's very smooth. In fact, the suspensions are designed to be very, very soft uh, for driving every day. Uh, it feels nice and comfortable. It's very similar to that of a Rolls Royce, for example. Uh, so if you've ever been in one of those, you feel how comfortable it is. It's nice and quiet as well. Road noise is very limited as well, so which is very good. You also get cruise control with speed limiter, you got uh, reverse camera, uh, you got heel assist, uh, front and rear parking sensor. You've also got proximity keyless entry, or uh, if you just press the button, the door handles just pop out, and I like the way they pop out as well, it's pretty cool. And uh, you got heads up display inside of the car with two USB ports, seven inch digital instrument cluster, which you can uh, configure to suit your need. Uh, although it will show you the basic information like how much charge you got left, uh, range, energy flow, that kind of stuff, and charging time when you're charging it as well. The modes you got, like I said earlier, you got eco, normal, and sports, which you can, which you can toggle using a button uh, at the bottom there, or you can kick the, uh, your foot down on the accelerator to kick it into sports mode. 
The 10 inch HD touchscreen is where everything goes down so you can control the whole infotainment system. You can control it from there. Uh, you can change settings as well. You can also turn on uh, the car heating so that it heats up the car before you get in the car as well, which is pretty cool. You can use a phone app to do it as well, which I didn't get to try on this little uh, moment with the car, but that's something that you can do as well. Other tech available includes Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, you got active blind spot detection, uh, you can read traffic signs, a standard. You've also got level two autonomous driving tech in there as well. Inside the car, you've got that pebble gray Luxembourg cloth and Napa leather uh, upholstery as well, which is pretty cool. I like it. It looks premium. I like the leather. Like I said on Twitter or Instagram, I think they have leather all in the right places, which I really like. If there's any issues that I have with the car, it would be that the range is not as much as the Corona, for example, but I think as a seater car, average driving range you're gonna do every day is probably 26 miles. So that's more than enough for you to drive around the city every day. Pricing is, st is still a bit much for most, uh, but I think considering the long-term uh, savings that you'll be saving, uh, money that you'll be saving, I think it's pretty cool. It's got enough headroom as well for someone who's my height. I'm about five foot 10, five eleven, 11. Uh, so it's more than enough. You've got enough space, leg room's great. Uh, the car boot as well, it's got enough space uh, to store things. Uh, you can even fold the seats as well to store more. In fact, the boot space is about 350 liters. Uh, one thing I didn't like actually as well, which is quite strange, is where to open the boot, car boot. You can use a uh, key fob, uh, obviously, but if you want to do it manually, it's quite lower down behind uh, at the bottom of the car by the number plate, which is quite strange. But when I spoke to the guys, it's to just streamline that design to keep it nice and streamlined. Uh, so it looks like it's nice and smooth. There's no buttons or anything like that. So that's it for the DS3 Crossback La Premier automatic electric car. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know as well. And uh, as always, make sure you subscribe if this is your first time on the channel and hit that bell notification as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.